It's Saturday morning. Got some people in the shop. I'm at the shop right now. Gonna be working on, working on a lithomatic toy picker drum attachment. This one's self auto locking. Or auto locking. The safety rails, they push this lock up to lock on the forks so it won't slide off. And they have other ones that are just like a simple hook. But they say it keeps on dropping one drum on one side. They got four head assemblies. And uh, they got one spring in it if it breaks, they could not make it pick up. Here's the top side, just take out the bolts, just slide the plate over. Quick inspect inspection. This little flap is not supposed to be moving free-handed like this. That means there's the there's a spring right here and it broke. Here's another one. By hand you can't move it, you shouldn't be able to move it. So just go around checking all of them. They said this head is the one that's dropping, so more than likely it just worked that one black spring. So I'm gonna show you how to disassemble this. Easy way is you get a hammer, a long punch, or in my case, a fire bar. They got four springs that hold. They hold it in place from swiveling and turning around in full circle. So, I don't know if I can do this one hand or not. Just want to get your power bar to knock the spring down. What I do is I put it in the lip. Then I get a hammer thing on it. Then just pop it off. As I suspected, the, sp the spring broke. See, it has that one extra little lip sticking out. It just broke right there. So, you gotta just cut the collar pins, push its pin out, then drop the head. Knee spring, gold spring. You see it just broke that little leg off. So, that's why it's dropping drums. But I'm still going to take the head apart and look for another broken spring because they got two common springs in here that are easy to break. You get the pin out, just get a pry bar in the back of it, push this down. You also want to inspect this little back spring. It likes to break sometimes too. And if you got one that's dropping off our drums, so I won't pick up. This more than likely that spring broke and won't keep tension on the cams in here. And then this hole inside picks up and down to release and clamp on them. This is the head upside down. Just pretty much want to do a visual inspection on all the clips make sure that they're not broke burst it off missing next you want to inspect your jaws to see if they're broke right here or even right here because they that would cause them to drop drums too look at the pins make sure they're not too bent or you know the this figure another spring that likes to break is this one they break in the middle right here and that will also cause it not to pick up this one was rebuilt not too long ago so everything looks nice and new so 
see if I can make this uh, locking me mechanism trigger. Just make sure it's nice and smooth with operations. Because <laughs> over time, they do like to wear down and bind. And if they get stuck when they're down here, at, when they press down, either the spring's broke or the uh, jaw has a indention from being rubbed over and over. Let's see if I can put it back in with one hand. You gotta get past this pin. That's the major pin. That's always in the way from the jaw to suck back in. So you want to hold it with one hand and get your pry bar and go under this pin to suck it up and push past back that. Let me see if I could put y'all somewhere where I can see this. Next, you want to line this up and put the pin back in partially, about that much, because you got to line up the pin and the spring to push the pin through the spring to hold it correctly. So you want to hold the pin by the long end. Camera's a little bit on my way. Push it in there. Push the pin through the spring. Now you gotta line up this hole again. It's only a little bit off, but I can't do it with my hand though. I'm not that talented. Of course y'all didn't see that. You can push your carter pin through, move it to where you want it at. Once you get it moved. You gotta get my screwdriver. It bounced way over here. Once you get your carter pin where you want it, you can put your flat back down to where you want it at so it can stay. Put pressure on the spring. My light's in the way. Just tap that down. Now you can't move it by hand and that's where it should go. So just move your... Adjust that. Cut the rest off. That's the and that's the symbol head now. I could put it back together. So once you get the housing and core lined up again, I like to leave it a little bit loose where I could move the whole thing around to the end need all the space to put the springs back on. In order to do that, uh, preferably you know those locking pliers, but something happened to mine, so can't find them. But they've been lost a good while now, so I ain't too worried about it. So I got all the springs back on. Uh, only thing you just left to do is put the top back on, pick it up, and spare a lot of WD-40 uh, or some other kind of lubricant on all your pins and jaws so it can move easy. And that's about it. Here's another one. This one's just a simple hook, hook clamp style. They just hook it on the back of the backrest or any like wrapping around the fork and hook it back to itself. Just up to how they want to do it. This one's like a very early 2000 model. So this one's a little bit differently designed. And yeah, we're going to do the same thing to it now. Inspect the heads. 
I can't make out what the tax is. It just says dropping, so I don't know if it's all of them or just one of them. So this one's gonna take more time to look at. Let's see what we find out. Okay, so I got all the fork, the heads out the body. That's the, what I was talking about earlier, the little spring. But to, when they pick up the drums and drop them, the, they hit the drums and drop this middle shaft all the way down and up. That's the release mechanism for the drums. I'm kind of hard with one hand. Focus. There's a small little spring right here. You can see the two little clip ends. That's the cam and the other side. And it's just like a little hook that holds it. So all I can do is just go up and down. Check out the teeth. Like you see that one's a little bit kink, kinked in. But it's not too bad. Another thing is you want to check the teeth right here on this side. I already went around it, so I know that, that they look pretty good. So something with the heads. Had to get up in the ground. And here's the heads. So like I said, check out the springs in here. There's flashlight. Check all the springs to make sure they don't look broke. And then, hang on. Test the operations by pushing the sides down to see if they feel stuck or snug. I already did that for all of them, but I do notice that these two are gapped more than these other two are which leads me to thinking that the jar, jaws are too watered out or the spring is bad i'm gonna see if we have any springs in stock to replace the springs first to see if that closes the gap if not then go from there so we don't have anything in stock for the heads so just cut the pins out That drops this assembly out. Then just got lifted apart. Take note of which way they go because they do go in only one way. Just looking, inspecting them, seeing if I see any big, big visual defects. Looks like it was rubbing on the housing. This is a little bit thicker. This one's a little bit thinner walled. I don't think it's supposed to be this uh, deformed. It is supposed to be a little bit oblong. This little, the spring pin is also bent a little, a little bit. Probably getting new one of those. I'm gonna have to order some parts anyway, so I'm gonna order a lot of new stuff for it. For this one, this little pin, probably this, uh, 
lower jaw, and then probably just needle these two. Then the spring is just just gonna replace the spring because it's already old. But the rest of it, it looks good. Just probably gonna get these springs anyway to replace those because before they break and then they complain again. There's a lot of slop in this one versus this one. I'm just gonna order these springs jaws for it. Call it a day for now. Of course I'm gonna show up until probably Wednesday. <laughs>